will Osama bin Laden bring about a change in U.S. policy? Last week on the show, one by one, our guests said no. Hopes are one thing, likely reality is something very different. Meanwhile, criticizing the killing seems to have become taboo. And even progressives who were vociferous against Bush now cheerlead for what amounts to extrajudicial targeted assassination without permission inside a sovereign state. President Obama told the country on 60 Minutes again that justice was served. Those who disagree, he said, need to have their heads examined. Now, it may be a kinder, gentler version of with us or against us, but Obama's words are having more or less the same impact, shutting down debate, sparking shouting matches on TV, fights on Twitter, even face to face. Due process, not war, in terror cases, which John Kerry and the Democrats ran on not even a decade back, as one sad viewer put it to me this week, due process is dead and I miss it. A tiny bit of hope came this week when Democracy for America sent out an email to its supporters calling for an end to the war in Afghanistan. We might not be able to stop the cheerleading, but if we work together, maybe we can finally stop the war, say some. DFA is teaming up with the majority of Americans who have polled for pullout for years. And they're partnering with four Senate co-sponsors of a bill that will do just that. But warning to DFA and those valiant politician co-sponsors, it is hard to rally people around issues of war and peace at the best of times, and even harder when standing up for ideals like justice, real justice, and the rule of law has even liberals aiming for your head. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.